probably that the greater surface area there enables them to enables the hyaluronidase to permeate into those vessels and, and un, unocclude it effectively. So if you did cause venous occlusion, how would you manage it? Well, it makes sense that you could manage it like you, like you would a vascular occlusion, which is that we do this process of warm compress, massage, hyaluronidase, and repeat that until blood flow is normal. Now, the big difference with a, va with a venous occlusion is if you're going to be massaging it, I think it's going to be highly effective. If you massage a vascular occlusion that's in an arteriole, you're effectively massaging a lot of the filler into the arterioles and in, then into the capillaries, which is fine because probably the, the greater surface area there enables them to enables the hyaluronidase to permeate into those vessels and, and un, unocclude it effectively. The thing with a venous occlusion is it's going to be much easier to move it away from the site. So we will be effectively causing those tiny microemboli going into the lungs, a small pulmonary embolism, but hopefully so small that you would get zero side effects from it. Now, think about that. That's quite important. Mostly with a pulmonary embolism, we're talking very big blood clots that cause clinical symptoms. So 0.25 mils of dermal filler is probably not going to cause a problem. Now, I have no evidence for that because it's never been researched. It's very hard to prove, um, but it does make sense to me that it's very unlikely to cause any problems. So massage could be good, but then you're saying you would also do the usual with the hyaluronidase. Yeah, I think the, the normal process is just going to seem to work a lot quicker. Mm. Um, I wouldn't recommend only massaging if you think it's impeding blood flow, if you've got a significant delay in capillary refill, because obviously the other thing is it's very, very hard to tell unless you're a sonographer, how are you going to tell whether it's in a vein or an artery? All you've got is delayed capillary refill. Oh. And um, so it makes sense to treat it as you would any vascular occlusion. I just think working from first principles, it may, it may be easier to solve because you've got these veins that you can easily massage the product out of.